Florida Insider Fishing Report. We're over here at the Jaeger Meister Workbench, Dave, where we every week talk about. We got a lot products. of stuff tonight, so we got to go. Okay, let's go. First off, we got this new Plano uh, Guide Series. This is a 3700. It's called a Hydro Flow, and it's called a Hydro Flow because of this base on the bottom. If you notice, it's got this long. It's got a tall base on the bottom, so that you know you put this in the back on the bottom of a little skiff like mine, where there's water always in the bottom of it. This keeps your tackle up off the deck and mm -hmm. out of the water. It holds it holds six stowaway boxes, you know, five five inside, and then and then one up on top with the with the little uh, the bungee clasp. Bungee cord. Yep, and it's got uh, you know sunglass holders on the side, which and these things are they, they they hold a lot of stuff, but they also double as little handles, so you can oh, nice. you, you hold it underneath there, and uh, you got a lot of, a lot of room to put your stuff on the outside, and if you want to put your lunch or stuff out here, big pockets in the front for a lot of your other junk, but. What I really like about it is the number of boxes it holds. You know, yeah. I put everything in boxes. And you can never it. have enough. You can never have enough boxes. That's it. All right, this is a, a spooled up line winder. This came, you know, RJ brought this in from his shop. Sweet. This is, I mean, <laughs> you know, as heavy as that thing is, once you put it in a, in a, in a uh, rod holder and start winding, it makes your job a lot easier. When you're filling these 50s, 80s, and 130s, it takes two people usually, and it, it takes a while. You know, this thing is made out of really nice aluminum. You know, this looks like bar stock aluminum. It's got a nice tensioner on here. You can keep, you know, so make Dave, it to whatever tension you want. And it fits on the, the butt of your rod, on the ferrule of your of your big uh, convertible rods. So you would typically stick this on the boat. This is why you're filling them on the boat? Correct, or? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Put got this it. on the rod holder, or you could have a, you could, you know, you could have a rod holder in your shop. A lot of guys I will put it. a rod holder in their shop. I got it. And that's, and that's uh, you know, from spooled up. Mm -hmm. Who makes that? And they also make cool this. Deal. They also make one that you can put on a drill. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to have have all this gear on here, you can get a, just a regular old spool line and 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 use one of these to spool up and or to crank up a big weight from down below. You put this on a on a chuck on a drill, uh -huh. and it spins around. You want to put the rubber around. part on the on your the thing. rubber part. Yeah, and then spins it up, and you can, it turns any reel into an electric drill real quick. Oh, nice. Right. So Dave, let me ask you: Could this be something you'd use when you were sword fishing? You'd sure, you could. Drill and yeah, it yeah. Would help wind yeah, yeah. It up. You drop. You know, if you're dropping and you're trying to set world records, you'd make your drop. You fish. You don't get a bite. You don't want to wind all that stuff in. Right. Crank that like right there on there, and you're going. These are some uh, really cool new skirts from from Black Bart's making these. He's he's making them for his lures. And what makes these so <laughs> so cool? So attractive. It, yeah, they're so attractive. Is <laughs> They're thin. They're very thin, and, and that does a couple of things. One, it makes it a lot easier for the fellows who are spooling, I mean, to, who are skirting their lures. Oh, they're beautiful. You can, it, it's thinner material, so they can put the skirts on a lot easier. Also, the thinner skirts make a great hookup. You know, the thinner your skirt is, the better you're going to have a hookup ratio with, with that. It, get, you know, it, gets, it gets all that stuff out of the way. So Black Bart's making those things, Got and, and he's, also, he's also selling those over at... Uh, uh, his shop as well. Now this is a micro anchor. Now this come, go, goes along with this big fiberglass pole okay. and, it's, and it's made by the same people who make power poles and what this stick does, it, it, well I don't know if I can stick it in there and here, but sure what it does is it goes all the way down through there and there's a series of motors in here and when you push up or down this pole goes nine feet up and down and this is what's so great about this is it only weighs 11 pounds. Right. It's perfect for a kayak or a little skiff again, like the little skiff that I have. This, you know, this makes a perfect alternative to having something big hanging off your boat. So that's a that's a really cool thing. It's called the micro anchor. It and comes uh, with remotes. Comes so you with can remotes, and it also parts comes with a remote. You can have it hanging on your thing, and it also comes with a one you can put on the on your dash. I like you it. You know, you can put a little deal on your dash and do that as well. Cool. Um, also, uh, we got some really cool squids from Moldcraft. You know, Moldcraft's been making the you know squids forever but now they're starting to you know catch up with the other fellas and starting to put a bunch of uh, patterns and, and some neon colors they're great for dredges for making daisy chains i mean everybody in the world pulls a squid daisy chain when they're fishing for for uh, sailfish and whatnot so 